Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Stepani, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'll be covering a wide array of topics on training, nutrition, supplementation, and anything else my subscribers want to know. If you find this information helpful, be sure to like, share, and comment below. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can be notified when I post new videos. Can creatine reduce your risk of cancer? Yes, according to a new study published in the Journal of Functional Foods. Creatine is generally regarded as safe and considered non-toxic by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. In fact, there are over 1,500 studies published on the safety and efficacy of creatine in various populations from high-level athletes down to the general public. Despite this, creatine still often gets a bad rap on the internet and social media platforms, with some even suggesting that it can increase your risk of cancer. Since there have been no previous studies published on the potential link between creatine and cancer, this study attempted to analyze that connection. Researchers looked at the data from over 7,000 people participating in the 2017 to 2020 United States National Health and Nutrition Examination Study, who provided their cancer status as well as dietary records. They reported that those consuming the lowest amount of creatine, which was equivalent to 10.6 milligrams per kilogram of body weight, or about 870 milligrams for a 180 pound person, so just shy of one gram of creatine per day, had the highest risk of cancer. However, those consuming the highest amount of creatine, which was equivalent to 19.8 milligrams per kilogram of body weight, or about 1,600 milligrams for a 180 pound person, so just shy of two grams of creatine per day, had the lowest risk of cancer. They also noted that for every extra one milligram of creatine per kilogram of body weight that you consume, the cancer risk is reduced by an additional 1%. While there are limitations to this study, such as the self-reported food records, and the fact that they didn't analyze those supplementing with creatine, but just those getting creatine in their diet from meat sources, such as beef, poultry, pork, and seafood. This initial study does suggest that creatine not only does not increase the risk of cancer, as some have suggested, but that it reduces the risk of cancer with higher creatine intakes, leading to higher reductions in cancer risk. So if some social media fear monger has you worried about taking creatine, this study should help to ease your fears on the safety of creatine, at least until another study is published, looking at the cancer risk in those supplementing with creatine. But if this study is any indication, I'll personally bet that those supplementing with creatine also see a reduction in cancer risk.